hey y'all good morning welcome back to my channel today's video is a cook with me video um this video was supposed to went out right after easter but unfortunately if you've watched my previous videos i have not felt like doing anything no editing or nothing but this is a cook with me i made roast um carrots potatoes and roasted asparagus and i hope you guys enjoy this it turned out really good um i will try to write the uh description in in the ugh. i will try to write the recipe in the description box below um but it turned out really really good i got this recipe from my sister and yeah i hope you guys enjoy it and i did make it really easy it's an easy process to make this roast so I hope you guys have, have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, so you're going to start out with brown gravy mix. You can use all your ranch seasoning pack and also onion. I use this red onion because I did not have a yellow one, which is the one that I prefer. Um, you're also going to use a beef chuck roast. That's my preferred cut, but you can use whatever preferred roast that you would like. Also, pepperoni seeds. I know this is unusual, but it's good. Extra virgin olive oil. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to sear the meat on all sides in a um, in a skillet first. This recipe is for like a crock pot or a pressure cooker type meal. Um, so if you guys can hear that sizzle that's what you want you want your meat to like sizzle so you can like sear it and brown it on all sides because that browning locks in a lot of flavor and no i did not put any type of seasonings on this meat before i did this because what you're going to find is all the seasoning pack and all that is going to season your meat to perfection when you're cooking this meat you don't need to add anything else and i'm a person that's big on seasonings like you need to put salt pepper whatever but with the seasoning package the brown gravy the ranch you are not going to need to season this meat at all and i'm gonna keep saying that because my sister is the one that gave me this recipe she's cooked it before and she's tried to season it one time and it was too salty so do not season your meat just just listen to me don't season that meat but just brown out all sides and then you're going to take it and you're going to put it in your crock pot or pressure cooker afterward now this is one of the easiest roast meals i ever made you're going to take the onions and put them in oh one thing i did forget to tell you guys you're going to also actually need garlic um, you can use whole cloves, you can use mints. I have a big jar of mints garlic, and that's what I use um, as my garlic. But you're gonna throw everything in the pot, and um, next we're adding that garlic in, and not a whole, whole lot. I like to put a little bit in, well, maybe about a spoon a um, tablespoon full and some of the juice in and then you're gonna do all your uh, packets I put in my ranch packet and then I put in my gravy packet it really doesn't matter the order because they're all gonna go in the same way Okay, so once you got your seasoning, you want to lift that meat up because you're going to want to put onion and seasoning all over you want it on the bottom and on the top as well so that the seasoning can get all over your meat. Um, your next step is you're going to take those pepperoni seeds and I put in maybe about four to five. It just depends on how, um, I'm not going to say spicy, I'm going to say sour because this gives an acidic flavor. That's the uniqueness of it, which is, it makes it like 
I don't know how to explain it, but it's like acidic and it's really good. But I put like four to five in, and then you're gonna take all the juice from that can and put it in there. Now, if you don't want it so sour, I would say put half the juice and about a cup of water. I normally use a whole can of juice and I also put like a half a cup of water. Maybe not even that, just a little bit of water to kind of um, dilute the liquids because you're going to get liquid off of that meat. As y'all can see, look at this. This is just the meat. I like. I'm doing it in a pressure cooker, so I only did the meat first. I don't like my carrots to be so mushy. Um, and my potatoes to be so mushy, so I do the meat first, and then I add the carrots and potatoes. Now, if you're doing it in a pressure cooker, I would suggest doing everything, doing the um, carrots, potatoes, everything in there, because you're going to be, I'm sorry, not a pressure cooker, if you're doing it in a crock pot, you're going to be cooking this on long periods of time, so it's a less risk of the stuff being, like, super mushy, um, so you can add that stuff in when you first start doing this recipe. You're going to actually, if you're doing a pressure cooker, you're gonna turn this back on for about 30 more minutes so those vegetables can get tender. Next, we're gonna do our asparagus. I'm gonna use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I'm drizzling it over the top. Then we're gonna take black pepper and sprinkle that on. We also use salt, garlic, and lemon juice. You're gonna use the lemon juice last, but right now we're doing olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic. Once you've added your seasonings, you're going to toss everything so that it all can get coated with the seasonings and the oil. You're going to then pop this in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes on about 375. And then once it's out the oven, you're going to squeeze lemon juice over it. I prefer a freshly squeezed lemon juice, but at that time I only had like the lemon juice in the bottle. Hey, it's quarantine. We gotta work with what we got. So this is my finished plate. I made that bread from scratch, but didn't film it. It was my first time. The meat was tender. The asparagus was good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you can follow me on this recipe. 